Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Thursday, November 12th at 4.47 p.m. I have some more recalls to bring to you. I tell you, it's just getting ridiculous, isn't it? And I hate to bring this one, man. Who doesn't love kettle cooked potato chips? Now, this brand I've never tried. Oh, excuse me. It was put out on November 4th, actually. November 4th. Today's the 12th. Okay. It's Miss Vicky's kettle cooked potato chips. Recalled due to glass pieces. Now, how in the world? Ottawa based Miss Vicky's Canada is recalling certain Miss Vicky's brand kettle cooked potato chips due to the possible, excuse me, presence of pieces of glass. The Canadian Food Inspection Agency, or CFIA, advises consumers to not consume Oh, I'm so I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It, uh, consumers advises consumers to not consume and for retailers, restaurants, and institutions to not sell or use the chips. The products were sold in New Brunswick, Newfoundland, and Labrador, Nova Scotia. Ontario, Prince Edward Island, and Quebec, as well as on the Internet. All right, so there's there's a long, long list here. I, I'm just going to put the link in the description box. And if you like this and you can't see the description box, please put it in the comments. And I'll, um, well, you can just go to www. FoodSafetyNews.com and in their search bar type in um, well the title again is Miss Vicky's V-I-C-K-I-E apostrophe S Kettle Cooked Potato Chips Recall you could put that in I'm sure it'd bring it up if it's not right there on the front page. Okay, on to the next one. This is also from FSN Food Safety News. Only this is about fish. This is breaking news for everyone's consumption. All right. Sorry, my nose is all of a sudden. Uh, hey, 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 hey. Woof. 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 That's better. Hello Fresh recalls fish because of link to illnesses by Joe Whitworth on November 11th. Woof. Woof. We got new neighbors coming in, so he'll probably be barking for a couple days. Hello Fresh is recalling certain batches of fish in New Zealand linked to at least three cases of histamine poisoning. The Ready Meal Delivery Service recalled HelloFresh brand Trevally the HelloFresh brand I've never heard of such a word Trevally, T R E V A L L Y, fillets because of elevated levels of histamine. What? Fresh fish fillets of 280 grams and 560 grams were included in implicated. HelloFresh 
customer deliveries from November 7 through today. Okay, so this is real recent. The product is sold online in plastic <coughs> packages. Jasper, it's okay. It's okay, baby. We're getting new neighbors. Yeah, we're getting some new neighbors. It's okay, I promise. They won't, they won't hurt us. Don't bark so loud. Okay. That's like telling a fish not to swim, right? Um, so the product is sold online. Really? In plastic packages as part of a HelloFresh meal box and is available throughout New Zealand. It has used by dates from November 10 to 13, 2020. Okay, you must get this refrigerated, frozen, and you have to get it in the refrigerator right away and use it right away because this is November 10th to the 13th, 2020. That's the use by date. Is it, does anybody live in New Zealand? Uh, if this helps to keep one person from being sick, it's worth my time. The Ministry for Primary Industries confirmed there had been reports of illness in New Zealand and advised consumers to discard the affected product. All right. The signs of illness is histamine. Histamine poisoning is also known as scombroid poisoning. Production of histamine is related to mishandling food due to storage at incorrect temperatures. Hmm. Once histamine has been produced, it cannot be eliminated by normal cooking or freezing temperatures. All right, I'm going to stop this here. And if you want to read more about it, because you live in New Zealand and you buy these fresh, what's they called? I'm sorry. Hello, fresh. Food boxes, and you may want to take a look at this. Okay, I'm going to end it here, and with that, I'll say bye for now. I'll talk to you later.